YouTube family. I hope you guys are having a wonderful evening. And I pray that you've had a wonderful day. I have had a good day at work. Had a good dinner. We had Brunner for dinner and it was delicious. But I am stuffed, stuffed, stuffed. Anyway, uh, oh, what was I going to say? I was going to tell you guys something. Oh, I know what I was going to say. I brushed my hair tonight before I got on the camera. When I was going back and editing, I thought, girl, what in the world? And my husband said, what? Because I'm sitting over beside him working on my tablet. I said, it looks like somebody done killed a cat. And, and, and then set that cat on top of my head. And I was in the kitchen cooking with that cat on my head. I couldn't believe it. Sometimes you just get in too big of a hurry. You, you're cooking supper, washing dishes, help making sure the kids got their homework, washing a load of clothes, which if you can hear that lop a lop a lop in the background, that's my noisy wash machine, but she just keeps on a working so we don't replace her. So, and I got to get some towels washed. It's a towel washing night. So, anyway, tonight is our last night. It's day 12 of our cookie day. I'm, We ain't even cooking cookies. Candy days. It's the 12 days of candy, and this is day 12. Alrighty. Hopefully, I won't have too much of that stammering. Alrighty. I just want to tell you, I have been overwhelmed with the wonderful comments, all of the new subscribers. I'm so thankful that you guys are enjoying the show. It's my program. It's not a show. I'm not dancing and I, I, you know, when I started doing this, I just wanted to teach some kids how to cook the old way, how to cook on a stove and not use a microwave. I wanted to teach love and compassion and kindness and spread some joy and, and, and just positive thinking. There's so much negativity in the world and positive thinking. So I'm not here to do cooking encouragement tonight, which I, I try to do encouragement all the time. I try to be upbeat and joyful. That I am just inspired and encouraged and I just thank you guys and I just love you guys so much I just I feel my family expanding I feel it expanding and it just makes my heart happy and I don't want to cry because you guys know I'm a cry I'll cry just like that I'll laugh real loud and I'll cry real loud I go both either way on the on the emotion rector scale so uh, tonight we are doing my brother's favorite and we are doing peanut butter no bake cookies and this is something that my mama made for us when we was little and i believe her mama kind of made it for her and we just love it and so it's a very simple recipe no candy thermometer allowed tonight we are going to do this by using a timer but the first thing we got to do is we got to get started y'all ready to cook i'm ready to cook let's walk over to the stove i'm gonna act like i have to go a long ways <laughs> We're just going right there. We're just going right there. Let me lower you down just a little bit. I want to tell you, I have so enjoyed doing these videos with you guys. And I'm going to kind of miss them. But I'm going to be putting out a video on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Mondays and Fridays will be a cooking video. And, of course, I'm going to continue to do my Wednesday encouragement. And you're welcome to look at those or you're welcome to watch come and sit a spell and we'll cook a meal together. It's whichever ones you like. If you like both of them, watch both of them. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys so much. You just don't know. You just don't know how I cried today reading some of the comments. And run back and tell my boss. It was just wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm blessed to have a good Christian boss. And she believes the same way I do. And uh, just wonderful. And uh, all right, let's get into this because I don't want to give you emotional. I want to give you a... A good cooking time. So let's do this. So we're going to have one stick of butter. In case y'all didn't know. Uh, I was going to hide that. But I realize I've got it in the camera frame. So uh, might as well just show you. That is my, that is the ingredients. It's one stick of butter. Two cups of sugar. A half a cup of milk. Four tablespoons of cocoa powder. And then we're going to put that all in the pan. We've got some, We're going to have oats that go in it too. But let's go ahead and get this butter in here. You don't want to have the heat too high. You're just melting butter. But let's go ahead and get everything in there. So one stick of butter, two cups of sugar, a half a cup of milk, 
and stuff falling off over there and I'm the only one in the kitchen. It's the wash machine is spinning. And then that is four tablespoons of cocoa. So well, we've got the heat going. So we're just gonna kinda put that in there and stir it up until everything melts. This is gonna be a night of bloopers. I already feel it. Let me go ahead. <laughs> Wash machine's got stuff flying off the counters. I'm throwing cocoa powder everywhere. It's a party. It's a party up at Grammy Nana. Let me get me a towel. I can't stand it to be dirty. I have to wash it. So we'll do that. Damn, look at that. It's like magic. We'll clean that all up. I don't know how many times that happens to me. I stir and I'll stir too hard at first when I've got the dry ingredients in there and I will sling that stuff up like I am throwing confetti. I'm telling you. All right. I don't know if you people remember, oh, what was his name? Rip Taylor. Um, you young ones ain't gonna remember this, but some of those. He would always run around throwing that confetti in there everywhere he went. It's the craziest stuff, uh, I'm telling you. And that would just make people laugh back in the day. I think if he ran around doing that now, here's the thing about it is, if he'd come over to my mama's house and did that, mm -mm. my mama has a case of OCD. <laughs> he would have drove her crazy throwing that stuff around. Mm -mm -mm. The things I think about sometimes. Well, anyway, we're melting this. When it gets good and melted, I'm going to come back. And then we're going to move on to the next step, okay? All right, we'll be right back. I got to go over here and figure out what fell because that's where my candy stored over there. Lord help me, Jesus. I hope none of my candy fell down. Okay, we're back. Everything is getting good and melted. The butter has just a few more hunks in there. Me pressing it with the back of this spoon is going to work. Make sure we're getting it incorporated. Can you guys see how delicious that looks? Do you know what I have forgot to measure out? I have forgot to measure out one third of a cup of peanut butter. So I got plenty of time to do it. I just got a pound of peanut butter. Oh, here it is. I forgot to get the peanut butter measured out, so we'll do that together. Let me go run and grab my one third cup almost there it's almost there so i i want to keep you guys here so you can see what we got to do so we're just going to get a little wooden spoon here we're going to put a third of a cup in here i'd say that's a good just well, we want to make sure we get plenty of peanut butter Maybe an air hole in there. Sometimes that happens when you've got a sticky situation like that going on. And we'll leave some in the jar too. Okay? So let's get back to the business. The business of candy. So I'm about candied out. Usually every year by the time I get the candy bags made, I am candied out. I'm ready to be done. This year I did a little extra because not everything that I make that I that I put in there is something that we made. I didn't. We don't have. I don't have the peanut butter balls in there yet because I made that one batch and they ate them all. So I've got to make probably about three batches. I send one batch to my brother, one batch to uh, my sister-in-law, and a batch to. I make a couple batches and then I make little individual bags of candy. So somebody asked me in the comments, how many do I make? Well, I've got four big tubs and then I have a lot of little bags that I make. And we really haven't kept any of it. It's all in those tubs divided out. So, and those are all pretty good sized families that I'm sending to you. Like my sister and Sheila, uh, sister-in-law Sheila, there's about... About seven people in her house, all they're all adults because she has uh, grown children that still live with her that are going to college. 
And then she has her, my younger brother-in-law lives there with her. And then my father-in-law lives there. So it's some men folk there too, so I have to make sure that there's plenty of candy. So we fill the men folks. Okay, I believe we've got it good and blended. I don't see any more butter. Now we're gonna turn the heat up just a little bit, not much. We're only going no higher than medium because we do not want to burn it. Now, I'm gonna let that kind of drip off. I'm not going to uh, stir it anymore. And what we're gonna do is this is gonna come up to a roaring bubble. Once it comes up to a roaring bubble, we're gonna set our timer on the stove for one minute and we're gonna let it boil fairly hard for one minute. And then we're gonna pull it off the heat and add our third of a cup of peanut butter, our teaspoon of vanilla flavoring, mix that all in there. Once it's good and incorporated, you don't see the peanut butter, all you see is the chocolate, then we're gonna add four, three cups of oats. Yeah, three cups. It's hard to say four, but I knew it was three cups. I used to make this stuff so much that I could do it by heart. I'd walk in here and do it, but when you have a diabetic husband, you don't make too many sweets. You try to stay away from them. And this time last year, I was about 30 pounds lighter, which I'm fixing to get. We're fixing to get busy. It's fixing to be tis the season to be on a treadmill and running until you can't breathe. Hmm. Tis the season to, for a happy treadmill just as soon as we're done with Christmas. So... I think everybody puts on a little weight over all days. I seem to be able to just sniff this stuff right here, and it's five pounds. I so love talking to you guys. We're getting ready to start having a boil. I'm starting to see some bubbles popping here. Let me move this over and see if I can get you guys a little bit more into it. You can see, you can see that it's starting to bubble. When we get a good roaring bubble, boil going on, we're going to set that timer. So, I'm going to kind of shake it a little bit. I might start this one more time, make sure it's not sticking. Oh, it's starting to smell, smell, smell it. I wish we had, like I say all the time, smell a mail. Smell a mail. Let's see. Okay, we're getting there. This side hasn't caught up to that other side there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and set the timer now. One minute. One minute she's a going. I've already got my wax paper over there. This doesn't go as fast as Divinity. Are you trying to tell me that the timer did not start? There we go. We'll take a couple seconds off of it. Sometimes, like I told you, when I threw that cocoa powder and that thing fell off over there and it was, uh, the washing machine was going, I knew we was going to have fun tonight. We're going to have lots of fun. Oh, that's smelling good. I know I look like I'm right up on it in the camera, but I really am back. I can't take that heat in my face. So, it's a looking good. And this is day 12. Day 12. We have made some candy. She's about ready. She's about ready to go. I got my oats here. I'm going to put them over here. And my nice pretty bow. And somebody's going to say, where did you get that pretty bow at? And it was a set. It came with four bows in it. And they all, even this one has a lid. You're not going to believe it. I got that at Sam's. Let's take it off the heat. Let's cut it off. Take it off the heat. We're going to add the peanut butter. I got, the, I got that at Sam's. Uh, I think my husband bought them for me. It was a set. They were on sale for $8. Sorry, I ain't going to believe what I did. It didn't spill. I, put the, I picked up the vanilla like I was done with it. I tell you, some days when I come in, I'm just, after doing books all day, my brain's a noodle. I don't know who I am or what my name is. Now, you see how that's starting to look really creamy because that peanut butter's in there? going to add that around there. It's going to be so good. Let's turn that because we do not need it on. Now, 
I think I've got that blended good. You can't see the peanut butter anymore. It just looks like good old chocolate in there. So let's add these three cups of oats. And I used old fashioned oats. Now if you don't like the big oats, you can use the instant oats. It'll give you a little bit of a smaller grain oat in there and you won't have that clumpiness. But I'm just gonna tell you, to me, it tastes good with that big oat in there. You can do this with cereal. You can uh, put Rice Krispies in here, Cheerios, any kind of cereal you want. You can throw nuts in here. You can do anything, anything. Remember, you're the boss in the kitchen. And you can do, how, do it however you want to do it, to your taste. I'm going to get that spoon cleaned off. I'll put it over here. Now we're going over with this big spoon and I'm going to really get it going. Alright. And I like to use this big spoon. And I start down here. And I do about like that. Now it's basically a tablespoon. I'm just used to doing it with this big spoon. So that's what I'm going to do. It's about a tablespoon. Maybe a little bit more. But this is how my mama made it. She made it with this exact spoon. And this is how she did it. And we'll just set them out. If you want to do them in circles, you do them in circles. You do them however you want to. So, let's get that out there. My mama would make this sometimes. And she would get busy. Because she had a lot of things to do. My mama worked 60 hours a week. And my little daddy, he worked 80. He worked two 40-hour-a-week jobs. And uh, sometimes she would make this. She would forget how long she had it in there, and it would be so gooey we had to eat it with a spoon. And sometimes she would make it so hard, you'd have to cut it with a knife to get you a little piece off of it. But you know, we always ate it. It didn't matter how it turned out because Mama made it. And it had sugar in it. And we was going to eat anything that had sugar in it. And that's the truth. So. This makes a pretty good sized batch of these. And you, you could make them smaller. But I make them. I make them about the same size. And you can see it's already sitting up with me. But you can still get it out. And set it up. That's the one thing about this candy. It's not, it's not contrary. It'll work with you. You don't have to be a karate kid. You don't have to do spin kicks, jump up in the air, backflips, you know, all that crazy stuff we, I had to do with that divinity. I took some of that divinity to work today, and uh, one of my co-workers tried it, and she had never had divinity. She said, oh, my God, that was so good. I said, girl, I didn't know what I was doing. I did not know what I was doing. So, but I just prayed, and I followed the instructions to a T, and it worked. Now, I haven't, I seen another one, because I looked it up today for a lady who, uh, that said that she couldn't make the divinity because she wasn't for sure if she could stand up that long and do all the things required. Well, I actually found a recipe for divinity that you use marshmallow fluff. So, that might be something we try maybe next year. Let me get that other spoon because this last little bit is hardening up on me. So, let's put it out there. And then I'm going to go back with my spoon. And like I said, I could have made them smaller and served a lot more people. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go clean up this mess. We're going to give these just a little time to set up. And we're going to be back. And I'm going to show you my cookie box. Okay? All right. We'll be right back. Okay. So, it is setting up. I've kind of cleaned up a little bit. I'm going to show you. Here's our divinity that we made. Got a thing of that. Our strawberry two-ingredient fudge. Our snowball bombs. Our Christmas crack. Our candied pecans. 
pecans. I said pecans just because I wanted to say pe pecans because I like the way it sounded. It's another bag of the pecans. Oh, we know what this is. We made it last night and it smells so good. It's our peppermint bark. And we've got our two ingredients peanut butter fudge. We got our candy bark in here. This is our German chocolate fudge that's in there. And our crop pot candy. The only thing I don't have in here is, is the peanut butter balls. And that's because they're not going to fit in here. I send him so many that they won't fit in here. I have to put them in a separate container. and Because uh, that's their family's favorite. And uh, this is just like a little sampling of all that we've done so he can try. Because he was supposed to come home and visit this year. Because of the virus, he didn't get to come and see me. And I'm really close to my brother. Like I said, he's a year and six months younger than me. And, uh, it's going to be in that book. I'll show you. I'll show you the lid. I'll show you what everything looks. I got just enough room for about half of this to go in there. Because this is his favorite. My sister-in-law's favorite is peanut butter balls, but my brother loves those too. And that's what I'll be sending to him. It says joy. I already showed y'all that bucket, but it's pretty. Also, at the end of this video, I was sent a, a beautiful picture from uh, Anna from Ohio. Uh, she made some of this candy along with me, and she made it up in gift baskets to give to the elderly in her neighborhood and to friends. And I asked her to send me a photo of it, and she did. She did a beautiful job. She actually covered the coconut and the white almond bark, and colored it and she put sprinkles on it this glitter sprinkles and uh she did the crock pot candy some of the nut two ingredient fudge she did a few things of her own in there and she just made it absolutely beautiful she put it together beautiful uh mine is just kind of simple because it has to mail so i have to be practical practical about how i put it in there and how i get it get it done but i'm going to put that in at the end and uh the little gift box at the end that's just beautiful. That is Anna from Ohio. And I just think she did a wonderful Except job. This. Uh, these are about set up. Let's try one. I want to get an ugly one because I want to give the pretty ones away. So let me take this and we'll cut that in half. It's still a little warm. They've got to sit here for a little while. But that's what they look like. And they're beautiful. I always forget which side of my camera's on, so I'm sorry about that. But anyway, that's what they look like. But anyway, keep that down, it opened. But that's what it looks like. I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed evening. Um, my next video will not be out until Friday. Because we don't have, we're done with candy. I'm not going to know what to do with myself tomorrow night when I come home. And I don't have to cook for you guys. I'm going to be just a little sad. But technically, I do because I got a video going up on Friday. So I'll be in here with you, but you guys won't. Well, had to be Saturday that I don't see you. Anyway, I'm just kind of rambling tonight because we're closing out this 12 days of candy. And I've just enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. I thought that it would be stressful. I thought, why did you bite off 12 days of candy? What were you thinking? But I tell you. I enjoyed it. But you guys have a wonderful blessed night. I'm so thankful that I didn't come in the kitchen with a dead cat on my head. I brushed my hair, put on a little lipstick, made my cheeks look pretty. Prettied myself up for you guys. But I love you guys. Y'all have a wonderful blessed night, and I'll see you next time. I'm Grammy Nene.